Hi everyone, it's night time on Monday and I'm opening up the weekly vlog. Why? Because it's been a busy, busy, busy work day. We've also both had our hairs done today, so it's a little bit messed up because I've had to put my big comfy Udi on. Well, it's not an actual Udi. Uh, Matt's wearing the actual Udi. Uh, so what we have it tonight, we're, we're having, having a Chipotle beef pasta thing. A Chipotle beef pasta thing. I'll turn around and show you what we're doing. This is a Chipotle beef Ritz rigatoni. Uh, and we're adding something to it, aren't we? We're adding yeah. a, a bit of veg. A bit of veg and some chia butter. Yeah, so we'll, I'll show you it when it's done. Okay, so here it is. Doesn't it look gorgeous? And there's also some ciabatta with cheese on it. And here are our cheesy ciabattas. Excuse me then. Hi everybody and welcome to Tuesday. Kind of mid-morning, <laughs> almost afternoon. Um, so it's been wet. Um, all the wind has kind of died down. Like I said before, it was very, very windy the other day. Um, it's all a bit calmer now, but it is quite cold. We've got the door open for the cats so they can come in and out. Um, just kind of referencing one viewer comment. No, we do not uh, keep the cats outside. Um, we've only, we kind of leave the greenhouse. If you look at the door, it's slightly ajar because Rory likes to go and sit in there, even in very bad weather he just likes to go and sit in the greenhouse it's a bit like a cat conservatory really so we leave bedding in there all year round but i've put extra in for the winter just to kind of make it a bit more snuggly if they choose to go in there but no this is what we do we kind of leave the door open so they can come in and out as they please even when it's freezing uh, but when it gets really 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 like cold in the depths of winter we're gonna have to keep the door shut um, they're gonna have to stay in the house as much as possible and then we can have the heating on. But anyway, there's, I just thought you'd I'd give you a beautiful view of Rory licking his toes. Um, I've got some work to do today to catch up on. Um, and that's kind of it, really. It's, it's just a work day. Hi everyone, we are back from the shop, so I'll we'll show you what we've got. Um, but yeah, let's turn it around. So what did we get? Well, from Tesco, we got two advent calendars. Cadbury's Dairy Milk Santa one. They're only the cheap ones. Yeah, what day are we? Are we the 13th? Something 14th? of that night, 14th. Yeah, 14th. We've got 14 of these a week. Yeah. Catch up. I want to get new ones for December. No, they are for December. They're only about £1.50 each. Um, so... We went out, we also went to a sports shop because Matt wants to start playing squash. So yeah. we looked at a squash racket to see how much they are. We got some stuff from Greg's inside Tesco. Uh, I got a corned beef pasty and a veggie pasty. Matt got a, what is it, coronation chicken roll? Tandoori. Tandoori chicken roll. Now, I'm going chocolate free, but what I'm gonna do to sort of we wean myself off, I'm gonna have one of these a night or else cold turkey is a bit hard. Got to lose some weight for the cruise in January. Tender stem broccoli, chicken. So what we're going to do with that is wrap them up individually and freeze them. And then and when we need... to our Hello Fresh is when we need to. Yeah. So if we're looking like we need a bit extra chicken, we just take one out and there you go. And then we got some, some stuff for the house. We got some shower gels. We got two of these. Yeah, we got two of those. We got two of these we, we use as refills. Some conditioner. We've got the Aussie, Aussie Mega one. And some cotton pads. And some cotton pads. There we go. Hello, what are you doing? So it's the evening and we have some ambient, ambience on the TV. And we've got, <laughs> Molly's just jumped up there. And we've got Rory over here, fast asleep, just look. Right, so while the cats are snoozing, Matt's got some ingredients out. We are having tonight Creamy tomato Cajun chicken. Put spinach and mashed potato. Right, so whilst Matt is chopping the potatoes for the mash, I need to get these chicken breasts into these bags, these Ziploc bags. Uh, we haven't got enough for one each, so we're going to put two chicken breasts in each bag. And then when we need them, we'll just defrost one bag and then have it over two meals. So that's the plan. There we go, all nicely bagged up. Time to go in the freezer. And there we have dinner. Doesn't it look very, very nice? And someone has been sat watching the whole time. 
Hello and welcome to Wednesday. I have got, um, it's bed washing day. Who does not love fresh bed day? Ah, oh, it's amazing slipping yourself between the sheets and smelling all that freshness. So I'm getting that done today. I don't think it's gonna be a drying day outside, but I can at least put them on the radiators ready. Matt's working, he's also gone to the gym. Um, I'm cooking a little bit of breakfast for myself, some crumpets. Then I'm gonna get myself showered and then it's my work day. I've got a few royal videos to make um, and just a few jobs around the house. I should say I've also decided to wash the covers of the hot water bottles, which we do actually use. Right, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. I have pegged out the washing. It's cold, uh, but the neighbor has also pegged hers out. So we'll see, it's windy. It is a bit windy, windy today, so we'll give it a go. Hi everyone, it is the evening and it's, it's that time again. So today we're having honey harissa chicken tray bake. There we go, Matt's preparing that now. So an update from today, because I haven't done much filming, I've been working. I managed to film, edit and upload two Royal Reviewer videos. I washed and changed the bed um, and I posted lots and lots of things on all the social medias for the Elliot and Matt Avocado Property Estate Agent. So it's been a busy, busy work day. Uh, so I got all that done. I feel accomplished. Uh, like I say, Matt's cooking dinner. Ask me about my day. Hang on. Well, how busy was my day, as everyone is asking? How busy was your day? Incredibly. What did you do? I woke up. I went to work. Went to the gym. Cooked dinner. <laughs> there was a bit in the middle, <laughs> but never mind. Oh, I know what I haven't showed everybody. Mm. The avocado. <laughs> experiment that Matt's got going. So, uh, was it two weeks ago now? Yeah. I just can't believe I haven't showed you. Uh, we had an avocado as part of the HelloFresh and Matt said, I think you can probably grow it. So he looked it up and apparently if you put cocktail sticks inside an avocado, like in it, and then put it in water, apparently it sprouts. Now, if you look under the water, I, I don't know if I can see any sprouts or not. Um, but anyway, we're gonna see, <laughs> I don't know how long it's supposed to take. I think we'll see. happening. Do you think? Yes, because look, there's a split down there. Okay. So, and on that side as well. So you think something's happening. So I don't know whether something's happening. And there's a little point coming. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know what we're going to do with it if it does sprout. <laughs> it's really nice. In this weather. And here it is, out of the oven. And we've still got some fries to come as well. There's a bit of feta going on the top. Well, it's Greek-style cheese, thank you. Greek style cheese. Better. <laughs> and there it all is finished. Hi everyone, it is the following day. It is Thursday, it's patrons only chat night. So I need to set that up. If you didn't know, patrons only is always on a Thursday, round about, well, it's always 7 p.m. And uh, Matt and I go on and we do a kind of cooking and chat with Elliot and Matt is, is what we kind of informally call it. Um, so Matt cooks. Uh, at the moment, we're doing like the Hello Fresh meals, and we just have a good old chin wag. We just have a chat. So, any questions any patrons want to ask, I answer basically, or we answer. So, I will leave all of that linked below. Today, what is happening today? Well, last night we just watched TV um, and ate the the Hello Fresh meal was delicious. It really was. Um, Matt's working, also gone to the gym. I'm, I've got lots of errands to do today. I need to go to the post box, to re well, the post office to return something, but I forgot to cancel a subscription. Um, so I'm sending it back. Um, and what else do I need to do? I need to go to the garden centre to get an extra pack of the violas so, I, so, I, so that I can do the other two pots with the three that I've got left over. I've got a business meeting over a coffee, so that'll be quite nice. Um, and then back and I've got to do a royal video and lots of other little random things. So it's a busy, busy day. Okay, so here is tonight's dinner. We've altered it slightly. It was supposed to be like um, Herbie chips, but we've turned it into Herbie mash. And we've added an extra sausage and there's some tender stem broccoli as well. And there's a sauce that Matt made going on. Uh, so it's we a did mustard sauce. A mustard sauce. We did actually make this uh, during the patrons only chat, which we've just finished. 
So here's our little setup uh, for when we do the patrons only chat. I'll leave all that linked. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're gonna enjoy now. And we're gonna catch up on the Great British Bake Off. Hi everybody, it is the evening of Friday. It's been a work day. I've managed to get lots of things done, including two videos all uploaded. We are doing something different tonight. What We're are we doing? doing? Sports. Go team. Go sports. Yeah, but uh, Matt's sports. doing squash. I don't like racket sports. Uh, so I'm going swimming because they've got sports. a swimming pool there as well as racket courts and tennis courts. So Matt's with friends doing squash yeah. and I am doing swimming by myself and probably at this time of night, about six, probably lots of old ladies. Me and You'll old ladies. I can have a gossip. You'll love it. It's my gang. And we've made it to the Sports and Leisure Centre. Here it is. It's not quite what I expected. It's actually quite modern and quite big. Uh, there were some big, massive speed bumps on the way that huge. my poor little car, who we've named Claudia Celine, doesn't like them at all. Uh, but yeah, there's all stuff going on over there. And yeah, I'm interested to see what the pool looks like. Have you, have you been to uh, like a Leisure Centre in Germany or somewhere? So we've just been swimming and we're we were almost back home. We wanted to go to the chip shop and it was shut. So we've ended up at KFC and we are absolutely starving. Well, I didn't do swimming. It's not we went No, swimming. you did squash. I did squash. I've got video footage. Oh, have you? Yes. Of they, me flailing. They've already seen it. Oh, <laughs> you got me flailing. How many calories did you burn? Oh, I, bar um, I missed recording a game on my watch and I burnt, it said I burnt 1,196. So mm -hmm. it was probably close to about 1,400. And I did well as well. Yeah. I swam for 45 minutes solid. Oh, look, legs! Woo! <laughs> ah! Flash! Here it is, KFC. <laughs> and the Big Brother final. Which we're half an hour late for. We're half an hour late! Hi, everybody, and welcome to Saturday. So, Matt's decided he wants to make a Yule log. I have. He's been inspired by a video that we watched where someone made one, but it turns out it was actually the Mary Berry recipe. And I feel like I can do the Mary Berry recipe. Yeah. Uh, so, he was going to vlog it. Well, he's going to vlog it, um, but we've decided he's going to vlog it sort of first person style. Yes, because when <laughs> I use the stand, I'm too tall. And the stand ah. has to be all the way over there, and I'm all the way up here, and the bowl's all the way down here, and it just, it doesn't look good. No. <sighs> but anyway, I will film it for Vlogmas. So this is like a trial run uh, for a Yule Log, because we want to make a Yule Log for dessert for Christmas Day. Uh, so Matt's going to try it now, and he really loves Yule Log. I do. It's his favourite dessert. So he's going to do that now. Um, and then, like I say, we'll film a proper one, a proper version for Vlogmas. Hi, so I'm going to attempt to make a Yule Log. I tried in the past, I've never got the roll to sit well, it always snaps. So I'm going to follow Mary Berry and we're going to see what happens. So let me turn this camera around. So I've got all my equipment pretty much ready. The only thing I need to do first is to line a baking tray with some parchment, which I'll do that now. Step number one, let's whisk four eggs and 100 grams of caster sugar together until we get like a pale coloured mixture. So let's see if I can do one of those funky YouTuber transitions and see what we get. Voila, one pale mixture attained. So it's all been whisked together, it's all nice. And now the next step is to add 65 grams of self-raising flour and 40 grams of cocoa powder. And then we need to just gently fold that in don't want to knock out any of the air, and then we'll get to baking. So, see you in a minute. One for the outtakes. I cracked the egg on here, and I just poured it out onto the piece of kitchen towel, rather than putting the shell there. <sighs> Weekends. Voila. There it is. One chocolate cake mixture, and now it just needs to be poured in the baking tray, and then cooked for about eight to ten minutes. I know. Terrible vlogger. I've kind of skipped a step. But I've got the cake out. It was perfectly fine, and I've rolled it. And it's actually kept, this has always been the bit that's broken for me. And I'm pretty sure that is still one consistent cake. I am so chuffed right now. Ah! Okay, for the ganache, I've got 300 mils of double cream. And I just need to heat that up to a point where I can still keep my finger in it. So it's not horrendously hot, just a little bit hot. And then I've got to add in 300 grams of dark chocolate. Make sure it's all melted in, transfer it to a bowl, tuck it in the fridge for a bit, and then we can start assembling the cake once everything is cool. Ooh. 
So whilst Matt is doing that, my hair, this is bed hair. This is just complete bed hair. Uh, I'm going to have a shower and then I've got an admin thing that I need to do. It's been stressing me out for the past like four days. So I need to just, I, the problem is I don't know how to do it. <laughs> and it's something that needs to be done. Uh, and there's a deadline to do it. And the deadline is fast approaching. So I need to figure out how to do it. <laughs> Uh, and that's just been stressing me out. So I need to crack on and get that done. Matt will do the Yule Log. Um, and then, hopefully, fingers crossed, I might be able to go outside and put some of the bulbs in and do a little bit of planting. Fingers crossed. Ooh, I should also say, before I jump in the shower, uh, beneath these two boxes here are my jewellery, or is my jewellery collection, minus my watches, of course. Um, so <laughs> what I wanted to know is... Would you like me to do a jewellery tour? Um, yes, I know it sounds a bit weird, but literally me explain because a lot of these pieces have meaning to me, um, or I've had them for a long time, or it's things that I wore during a certain period of my life. Um, so I have amassed, you know, a reasonable jewellery collect, a man's jewellery collection, if you like. Um, so this is not my tiaras or my royal jewellery that I use on my other channel. This is what I wear sort of every day my everyday collection so if you'd like to know what's in it <laughs> and you'd like me to do like a big show and tell that in a separate video let me know in the comments matt is spooning his cream all over I, his um, chocolate log i'm so happy i've got this to roll and stay in one it's done really piece. well actually so i'm just trying to... we were just teasing you because we'll show the real thing in all in its vlogmas. glory yeah, for vlogmas yeah. And in other news, I am absolutely ecstatically pleased because that admin thing that I was trying to do for ages that was really stressing me out, I have managed to do. So, oh my goodness, I am so relieved. You know when something's been stressing you out so much and you just don't know how to do it and then you've suddenly found out how to do it and it's a lot easier than what I thought it was. <gasps> I'm so relieved. Anyway, update from swimming. I don't think I mentioned, did I? I can't remember. We are sore today. We yeah. are absolutely aching. So it's... My bum hurts. My bottom hurts. And I've confirmed with the other two people I've made squash with, their bum also hurts. So there it's you go. Squash gives you a big booty. Awesome. Matt's made a log. Look at that. I'm so chuffed. And there she blows a complete Yule log. And someone stealing the chocolate. This is like Matt with the cake batter. It is like me with the cake batter. But look, I'm so pleased. I've never made a Yule Log before. And there it is. Ignore the presentation of the plate. Yeah, we're not. We're not artists. But I'm sure I'm sure when we have a slice after dinner it's later. Good Christmas Day. A slice of dinner after our fragrant pork and mushroom stir fry. Mm. We'll go down like a treat. My chocolate diet is going well. It's going very well. And Matt's made a HelloFresh stir fry, but we've added some, some eggs to make it egg fried rice. And we're gonna add, add on what? Some onion some croutons? Crispy onions, yeah. Crisp, some crispy onions. Yum yum. Okay, did we show the finished thing? I can't remember, but we're gonna try it now. So it does look quite loggy. I used a wooden spoon to make the grooves in it. Um, but there you go, we're gonna try it. Yeah. And then when it comes to Christmas, put some like little holly things on. Yeah, with the real one. Really and the, the presentation will be better. So it's not terribly too much of a swirl, but it does look good, doesn't it? Mm. Yum, yum. Ready for eating. Hello and welcome to Sunday morning. It's all going on. We've had the HelloFresh delivery. We have. Oh, we've got this What week. do we have this week? Let's we look have at the menu a cards. classic cheesy mushroom burger. There's another one behind that. Okay, cheesy mushroom burger. There is... Oops. There is prawn and tomato risotto. Ooh. Chipotle chicken fajita tray bake. Ooh, okay. Uh, Chamula spiced lamb and rice. Okay. And cheesy chorizo pizza inspired pasta bake. There we go. Yum, yum. Ooh. And here is the garden today. I realise we haven't done a lot outside this week. Um, so today I've got a few things that I need to get done. Um, possibly even film a Royal Review video, which I wasn't planning because something cropped up. Um, it's a little bit windy. It's cold, but it's not as cold as it has been. And it's the ground's sort of damp, but it's not exactly wet. So I don't think it's right to mow the lawn, uh, but I can, if it stays like this, and maybe get some of these things put in the garden and some bulbs planted. So hopefully 
that's what we can do. So yeah, I had to put the mini greenhouse, I don't know if I've already said this in the video, uh, I had to put the mini greenhouse in the big greenhouse because it blew over. So I need to reconfigure all of that and get all that sorted. The cats have been using, we put a new box in for the cats, they've been using that little husk as a bed. So I need to have another sort out in here and sort of get that in. But I thought this could actually live in here permanently um, because I can actually take, uh, I can use the shelves for propagation um, for in the spring when I start sowing seeds and it'll be extra protected in here. So I'm gonna, I think I'll probably put it in the corner somewhere over there if it, if it will fit. We'll have to see. But as you can see, lots of leaves on the ground. I've come in here so that you don't get any wind noise. Um, but it's all looking rather good. I need to tie, I still need to tie that rose up on the fence. I need to put those bricks away. That's what was weighing down the little plastic greenhouse. Um, and I need to get my little clippers and clip all the brown bits off the plants where they've gone brown. So that's, there's a few outside jobs that need doing. Right, so here I am at my parents' house. I need to check their post, grab a few things that I need for the Royal Reviewer channel, including jewellery and some sort of costumey type jackets. And then I need to head back to the house. It's rain, well, it's kind of raining, not raining. And it kind of feels like, should I do the plants or not? But I've also got other things I need to do. It's all going on. Of course, it's always nice to have an update on the old garden. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, this is where I used to live. It's my parents' house and I used to, there's like another house next door to them. It's all joined up now. Um, so this used to be my old garden shared with parents. So this is the old greenhouse. Uh, I don't think my parents grew anything in there this season. This used to be the flower meadow. This was the rose that I planted. Another David Austin roses. Oh, mother's got a brand new massive tub. She didn't tell me about that one. Uh, I could do with one very similar to that. These two pots used to have my roses in. She's now got some topiary balls. This has grown huge. Um, every time I come, this seems to have gone absolutely humongous. It really does. Uh, this is my wind chime. Uh, if I, there we go. It's really beautiful. I did actually do an unboxing of that. They've also put a clock on the wall. Um, <laughs> I haven't been for a while, to be honest. Uh, Ooh, that's grown, that's huge, look at that. Um, <laughs> so some of these are still plants that were mine. So this is where I used to sit and have my morning coffee. Um, yeah, I'm just being careful on the wood steps because they might be slipping. I want one of these for the border in our new garden. Um, this is mine, this beautiful blue hydrangea that's now changing color because of the time of year. So there we go, that's kind of, and obviously this is with my old patio set. Uh, my gargoyle on the floor. The orange blossom is now really, really, really huge. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, oh, these were my, um, these should, should smell nice. Mm. They've done well, I, I did plant them. Okay, I'm gonna go in the house now and check their post. Oh look, my mom's got something digging in the lawn. I think that might be a squirrel. She did say that there was squirrels digging holes and there's another little hole right there as well oh wow okay <laughs> so let's um let's have a look on the patio so this was the door i might actually do like a child childhood home tour uh, <laughs> so here we go this is what's been going on here let's go in and of course looking outwards if i zoom out this is um my parents undercover area Hello and welcome to Monday. I am going to be doing some vlogging today. So Matt and I have just cleaned the house. So I'll just show you the kitchen. Uh, I've still got some work things out because I need to do some work later, but I am meeting a friend um, a little bit later. Um, Matt's staying because he's got some work to do. And then I'm coming back and I've got lots of work to catch up on. So the house is looking quite good. I'm bleaching the sink, which is why we haven't got a normal mat over there. Um, so it's all looking rather tidy and nice. Obviously still some concessions to the cats. We've got their cat boxes out. Weather today is not too bad. Um, it's actually not that cold, all considering. Um, so if I have some time left at the end of the day, and I keep saying this, I will hopefully plant those plants that need to be done 
I just, it, everything keeps getting pushed back. I don't even know why I'm telling you that I'm going to do it because quite simply, I might not end up doing it. But anyway, it's a wish, it's a hope that I want to do. I'm just about to see Bo and there's Rory over there. Molly's upstairs on the bed. Um, I'm gonna go and have a shower, get myself all presentable. Then I can show my face on the vlog <laughs> and then get on with the day. Oh, I'm having Bo cuddles. Hello, Bo Bo. Mwah. You're giving daddy all the cuddles. I've not had cuddles for days. And then you've come in and just started giving daddy all the cuddles. Yeah, good boy. But I've got to go out in a bit. And where are the big cats? I hear you cry. Well, they're on the bed. Hello, Rory. Look at that dum dum. Is that a nice dum dum? Oh, look at you. You're so gorgeous. And we've got Molly over here. You're going to acknowledge us. Hello. She's having a sleep. Um, <laughs> look at this. You are really something, aren't you? Right, so I am back from a meeting with my friend. We had a really good catch up. Uh, she used to work at the same uh, school that I worked at. So it's really, really nice. She's actually retired now. So we can almost be ladies at lunch together or brunch together with Prosecco, of course. Uh, so that was really nice to have a catch up. Uh, Matt's still working. I need to do some work. I need to have some lunch as well. So I've got some crumpets on the go. And then I think what I want to do just to relax is take a walk by myself, because Matt's working. Uh, <laughs> I did ask him if he wanted to come and he's got some meetings to do. So I might do a little bit of a kind of autumnal slash winter walk and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Right, so it's a little bit kind of damp in the air. It's a little bit wet, so I'm not gonna hang around terribly too long. We're gonna go across the bridge. This is a little inlet that was cleared and dredged earlier in the year and it still needs a little bit more dredging, but this was completely overgrown. So now all the water can kind of flow from that direction all the way into the main pool. And this is the island that's kind of, was kind of buried and hidden and lost. And it's now got, now got some nesting boxes on it and all kinds of things. So it's quite lovely. Nice and autumnal on the floor. Yes, you can definitely clearly see the inlets now. You can clearly, if I zoom out, you can see that it is of an island shape. Anyway, I've got some leftover porridge oats, which I'm going to hopefully feed to the ducks if they are there. So let's go and take a, a little wander and see what we can see. Ah, look at all those leaves. Now, it definitely looks autumnal now. There's still a few trees clinging onto the last of their leaves. But yes, I, oh, I can see a duck already, I think. Let's go past the picnic table. We've never actually come and sat at this picnic table, but I actually think if they cleared some of the smaller saplings, you'd have a beautiful view, a lot better. Um, so, yes, in the UK, thank you not for feeding us bread, and we prefer to eat oats. Well, that's what I have today. You can also, wild bird seed, mealworms, duck and swan food, defrosted peas and vegetable peas. I didn't know about the peas, but we have oats today. So let's go and see if they'll come. <laughs> Where are you, duckies? Let's have a look. I mean, I can go to another spot if they're, if they're not willing to come. But if I stand here long enough, and if I put some in the water, I'm hoping that they will come. It does look rather beautiful, I have to say, even though it's a very grey day, I'm just going to chuck some in and see if they come. Right, I've just thrown some in the water and look who's coming. I am, I am targeted, they are coming my way. <laughs> Here they are, I love ducks, I really do. So I'm going to chuck some more in and hopefully we'll get some good duck footage. Okay, there's a few more now. I mean, I've certainly got the attention of the ducks and uh, and the seagulls. I think there's some seagulls as well. Uh, so I've got a few more packets. I've already put two packets in. And I'm going to try and see how close... There's a few more coming over there. I'm going to see how close they'll get. There we go. Right, I've only got one more pack left. And I think I've pretty much got the attention of all the ducks. Oh, 
Okay, that's the last of the oats in the water. Uh, I was hoping they'd come a little bit closer, but never mind. Never mind. Let's carry on with our little walk. Okay, just walking out from where the ducks are and uh, continuing my journey. Some beautiful old cottages down here, all listed buildings. And of course, I'm walking alongside the pool. So uh, we're going to walk across that wall over there that you can just about see peeking through the trees. And then we're going to carry on to the Telford Steam Railway, uh, where they are setting up for the Christmas Polar Express. Uh, you can even do a spot of fishing if you wanted to. So here is the pool from the other end. A bit of wind noise, I'm sure you can hear, but the ducks are right over there. Uh, so I'm going to carry on now down this path that will take me to the Telford Steam Railway. Okay, so here is the old loco shed. Uh, I'm going to walk down the side of it. Here they are, just getting ready for Christmas. So the Polar Express, I think, is that one just over here. There it is, you can see it just over there. It's all decorated for Christmas. And there we have it for another week. Matt is still working. He's on a video call. So it's me, as normal, to say goodbye. It's been a week that I don't think has been terribly exciting for you guys. It's been a work week. Um, I suppose the thing, the main thing that we've started is exercise. Well, no, Matt's been doing exercise. I shouldn't say he started exercise. I've started exercise. And I think going swimming is going to be something that I'm going to really enjoy doing. Also, squash for Matt with his friends is something that he's finding, I think, is going to really burn those calories. And both of our bottoms and legs have been really aching this week. So the cardio is definitely going to help. So that, coupled with the Hello Fresh smaller portions, not having cream cakes every night, um, all that kind of thing. By the way, I have actually stuck to only one truffle a night, apart from the blip that was Matt making a Yule log, which we're still eating. But other than that, we're not going to make any more. That was just a trial run for Christmas. So um, in the Vlogmas vlog, oh, I should actually tell you now what we're kind of going to be doing, what's coming up on the channel over the next couple of months. It's going to be quite busy on this channel. So, as you know, I'm still doing my Royal Reviewer videos on that channel. Um, I'm going to try and do some kind of random vlogs for this channel up until the 1st of December, in which I will switch to Vlogmas. So when it comes to the 1st of December, I will cease doing a weekly vlog and I'll start doing about three maybe four videos a week of kind of Christmas themed things that will also include vlog footage as well. So rather than sort of one one weekly vlog, it'll be split up into three or four vlogs a week with lots of Christmas things and Christmas trips and markets and craft making and tree decorating and all that good stuff. So that's to come. Then straight after Christmas, we will have a f maybe two normal weekly vlogs um, and then we go on the cruise. So then when we're back from the cruise, it's a two week cruise, we will have um, probably two videos a week coming out of cruise vlogs, plus the weekly vlog, plus anything else that we're doing. And we have a couple of show home tours in the pipeline too. So it's all gonna be quite busy coming up on this channel. So if you're not subscribed already, please do hit that button and do all that good stuff. Right. Um, what else was I going to say in a big hurry? Yeah, so we're sticking to our diets. Um, I've got a little bit of weight to lose between now and the cruise, just so I can fit back in my shorts. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so other than that, we're all good this week. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit that bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So from me and Matt upstairs, to you all. And goodbye.